Hello everybody and welcome back to Minecraft where I have the newest version of Thalmcraft installed. So in this video I'm going to have some annotations to some previous videos that I had on Thalmcraft such as the basics, the last update, a huge arcane boar, or even the new shocking symbol in an awesome defense system. So if you're interested in any of those videos just click on those annotations and it'll send you there. So right now I am going to show you some of the new aspects of the mod. So there are elemental crystals that you get by killing certain types of mobs in certain biomes. There are talismans now, a generator, um, special boots that allow you to do special things. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw on one of the boots, but again, I'm going to be covering all of this in the later parts of the video, and I'll be covering things in more detail. So I'm just showing you a quick preview of the boots, how you can uh, jump higher, and they even have a special ability, which I will be showing you guys a little bit later. So over here, I have uh, a man-made altar surrounded by obelisks. So... Um, Again, you can find one of these naturally spawning, but I went ahead and built one because they are hard to find. So if you place a normal talisman in there, that's how you charge it. So you hear the uh, strike of lightning and uh, it charges it for you, which is very cool. So with these charged talismans, you can put them in an infuser with certain items. And this will allow you to uh, create the certain talismans, which I'll be showing again in a little bit. So... Um, also, a quick note is the Orcalcum armor has actually switched to th Thalmium armor, and uh, I think it looks cool, so that's sweet. So let's go ahead and see what happens if you throw some Solified V into the altar. So you can see the same uh, effect happened, and a massive slime spawns to demolish you. So you can see uh, it takes quite a lot of attacking to uh, kill it. But since it's all on obsidian, it doesn't destroy the uh, the world. But if it gets off and starts chasing you, it'll actually take some smack down into the ground and uh, do some damage. So that's a pretty cool addition. And now I'm going to be transitioning into the part of the video where I go into more detail about certain things. So first off, you notice two different crucibles have been added. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you what that does. But first, I'm going to go ahead and show you the new look of the armor. Um, you know, it really fits the feel of the mod, and I like it. And you see the new mob in the background there, which is a wisp. And uh, those things are fun. So in my hand right now I actually have a fire wand and what this allows you to do is shoot fireballs of course and it charges up like a bow so the longer you hold it the uh, larger the fireball it shoots but it actually uh, takes more out of it so uh, here is the lightning wand which can't be charged like the fire wand but can shoot very rapidly so we're gonna go ahead and test it on this wisp and you see the nice little streams of lightning go towards it and um, it's not the most deadly weapon in the world but it'll shoot fast and get the job done so you see uh, it took them out quite nice and easily and uh, it like locks on so um, it's pretty cool and uh, more accurate than the bow I would say so uh, I don't know where this little slime came from but we're gonna go ahead and kill him uh, quickly so uh, Azanor again a beast at updating his mod like it was only a couple days since the last update when this one came out um, maybe closer to a week but really cool on that and uh, go ahead and download it in the description if you haven't already and leave him suge some suggestions so he can uh, continue to release awesome content for the mod so uh, you see over here is an elemental crystal that dropped an electrified one from uh, that specific wisp so uh, you're gonna need those for some of the specific items that are added in this update so uh, we're gonna go back to the crucibles and uh, show you what those do so right here is the crucible of eyes which holds slightly more um, V than the primary crucible and actually emits redstone at 90% capacity so that's a pretty cool addition and you can have some fun with that Unfortunately, this one still overflows, which is why we have the Thalmium Crucible on the left over here. So what the Thalmium Crucible does is hold even more V than the Crucible of Eyes. And uh, still, it emits redstone at 90% capacity. But the coolest part of it is it won't overflow. So if you throw something in there that would make it overthrow, it'll just keep it in there until it can uh, break it down and utilize the uh, V so that's 
pretty handy if you uh, don't want trouble on your hands. So now we're going to go ahead and take a look at some of the talismans because I know you guys have been looking forward to some of those. So in my hands I have the Iron Talisman of the Void which allows you to uh, teleport. So you right click a void you want to link it to and it will say at the bottom that the talisman is now linked to that. And you have to make sure you have a V crystal in your inventory when you use it. But you can walk anywhere and whenever you right click with the talisman it will teleport you there. But it um, depletes one crystal every time you use it. So um, use it wisely or build a bunch of condensers to replace the crystals you use. So now I have the Talisman of Vigor in my hands which actually feeds the player until he is uh, fully fed and it actually has 20 uses until you need to recharge it with the crystal so I'm sure that would be very useful if you were uh, adventuring out. And there's one more talisman, which is the talisman of health, but I'm going to cover that after I show you the uh, the boots. So what the boots do is allow you to um, jump higher and run faster. So the first boots, which are the boots of striding, um, have similar protective qualities as leather and uh, are more durable. So the second upgraded boots are the seven league boots which have all the qualities of the striding boots but allow you to jump higher and run faster and uh, all of these boots actually give you uh, less fall damage and the last one are the boots of meteor which allow you to do everything all the other boots did but also allow you to jump down with some force and this will allow you to kill pigs or uh, hurt mobs and also take out some dirt so if you right click while you're on your down arc you can uh, smack the ground so uh, those are freaking sweet so now I'm gonna work my way back over to the uh, area where I started and I'm gonna show you what the talisman of health does so let's uh, jump up over by this fire and burn myself I already forgot to take my armor off so I'm gonna go ahead and do that so I can get hurt and, um, I love the effects of the uh, talismans when they're in use you see the little heart coming up and it's actually healing me so for this one after 10 uses it needs to be charged and you see it has the little crystal symbol over it because it's hungry for some crystals. So I'm going to go ahead and get a crystal and show you how to recharge it. Oh yeah, the thing about these wisps, they're uh, friendly during the day but once it hits nighttime, they will poison you and attack you and they are scary. So I'm going to put it on peaceful for the uh, sake of this video but whenever you guys play make sure you... Uh, have enough supplies to take them out so you can see when I put the crystal in my inventory the uh, talisman sucks it right up and it's ready to work again so again go to the description and uh, check out this mod because it's pretty sweet and if you like the video like it favorite even subscribe for more mod reviews and commentary and uh, have a nice day